Les brought to you by Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. I have always professed my love for baseball. So, when the MLB Network signed on in 2008, I had a new favorite TV channel. Oh, it's turned goodness. on in my house quite often, especially at night when I'm doing my homework at the computer, checking the highlights of my fantasy players, etc. There's one circumstance, however, when I cannot stand watching that station. When Dan O'Dowd is sitting on the set spewing whatever he's spewing. Cannot stand it. Makes my stomach turn. Makes me turn off the TV. I didn't like that guy from the get-go. From my first interactions with him, I thought he was a devious, arrogant, know-it-all SOB. Didn't like the way he ran the team. Didn't like the way he traded, treated people. Why do I bring this up now? Well, I was in the Rockies dugout during batting practice yesterday, and a longtime Rockies exec sat down next to me and said, out of the blue, feels a lot better around here, doesn't it? I knew exactly what he was getting at. Since spring training, without a doubt around, the mood, the atmosphere around the Rockies has brightened, has lightened. There's less paranoia, there's more cooperation. The culture's not completely changed, it still needs a major makeover, but it is better. Now, O'Dowd is a smart man, a smart guy. Problem was, he always acted like he was the smartest man in the room. He definitely was the most destructive man in the room. That Rockies exec I talked to, he said to me, quote, O'Dowd negatively impacted so many lives in this organization, he just treated people like trash. He also was constantly trying to pull the wool over the eyes of other GMs around the league, proposing one-sided trades, acting as if he knew more about your team's players than you knew about them, and you're the one who drafted and developed them. In a conversation with me a couple of years ago, one GM referred to him as the silver-tongued Dan O'Dowd. That other GM wasn't being complimentary. And now, O'Dowd, O'Dowd is acting the expert on national TV two, three, four times a week. This is the same coward we in the media couldn't even find the last two years. I called him the stealth GM. And when I used to ask the former PR staff members where Dan O'Dowd was, all they could do was shrug their shoulders. He verbally abused them, too, and then made them go out and deal with the media while he hid in his office or out at some minor league outpost. And now you can't shut him up. <laughs> Makes me wonder what Dick Monfort was thinking this whole time. The Rockies owner showed O'Dowd all that loyalty despite O'Dowd's ogre-like behavior and despite O'Dowd's abysmal record as a general manager. Loyalty? No. That's stupidity. Keeping a destructive guy like that around for so many years? Dumb, dumb, dumb. And finally, other Rockies execs are willing to admit it, to talk about it. Well, all of them except the owner. You know, the guy who actually offered O'Dowd another long-term contract this past offseason? Unbelievable. And just another example of why the owner of this baseball team needs to step aside and hire someone else to run the operation. He's just not aware. He's just not capable. O'Dowd needed to go a long, long time ago. It might have saved this franchise a lot of embarrassment and a lot of damage to its product and to some of its own people. And that's more with less. Brought to you by Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. Cooney is Colorado's number one volume Lexus dealer. They're at I-25 in Bellevue. You can go to their website, see their current specials. You can also see a large selection of new vehicles. You can see certified pre-owned vehicles. But you can see it all at CooneyLexus of GreenwoodVillage.com.